now now we are going to do lot more stuff on the where clause i want to have something like where the number of passengers is more than 3 how do i get those things for example select star from tickets where number of passenger is greater than 3 when you use the where condition this has totally 6 rows within the 6 rows we are restricting show me only where the number of passengers are greater than 3 so it is showing only those two now I want to have something like that <coughs> where the number of passenger is greater than 2 and number of passenger is less than 6 you can give a complex condition also or I can say compound condition okay n passenger greater than 2 that is one condition there is another condition called number of passenger less than 6 right so that means somewhere between 2 and 6 it has to be showing it is exactly showing that there is another ticket called 6 but it is not picked up because it is we have given less than 6 if I do the same condition less than or equal to 6 that will also come the 6 will also come so in the where condition you need not have a simple condition alone okay you can always have multiple conditions right someone has asked the question what is the difference between order by and sort sorting is the purpose order by is the keyword to achieve sorting you are using order by the syntax in mysql you are using to sort is order by okay now I want to give another condition okay N number of passengers must be greater than 2 and train number must be equal to 245 previously we compared only one column now this is one condition on one column this is another condition on another column right number of passenger greater than 2 many things will satisfy out of which for whichever row train number is equal to 245 it brings only that so when you are doing conditions you can always have a condition on a single column or you can have a condition on multiple columns you can have one condition or you can have multiple conditions now you can always do instead of and I can always say or if I say or number of passenger greater than 2 or train number is equal to 245 right so if this condition is true again that row is fetched if this condition is true again that is fetched right now it to make this look much better must be greater than 4 now look at this number of passenger must be greater than 4 whereas for this record number of passenger is 3 but this condition is false for this row whereas this condition is true train number equal to 245 so when you are using or condition if one condition is true that record is fetched if you use and condition until all the conditions are true it will not fetch that record so this where clause is aiming at narrowing down your searching or filtering the reason is imagine a big railway reservation system or a credit card system let us take a credit card system in the credit card system I know the credit card number for this credit card number right for this month get all the transactions for the credit card number XYZ for the month of December 2009 get all the records for that I need to use a where condition where credit card number equal to this and month equal to this right so the where condition is heavily used in every single query 
when i say query query means it's a question that you are posting to the database hey select do this you are ordering that it is giving you some results is this clear and or on the where condition before we proceed further on the where condition is this clear good there are some more ways to do the where condition if you look at this uh, one condition okay where number of passenger is greater than 2 and less than 6 there is another way that you can write this right now i can say where number of passenger between 3 and 6 instead of writing it is greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 6 when you say between 3 and 6 3 is also included 6 is also included this is equal unto number of passenger greater than or equal to 3 and number of passenger less than or equal to 6 so instead of writing that way you can always write between this and that that is one other keyword now if i want to write something like this where number of passenger is equal to 2 right or number of passenger is equal to 6 i am giving an or condition and the equality condition the same thing can be done in another way also number passenger in within bracket 2 6 what is the point in using between and uh, in just watch this is a range greater than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to 6 it's a range whenever you are using a range you should you can use between here it is not a range either it is 2 or it is equal to 6 multiple equal conditions if it is a range use between if it is multiple equality conditions then you can use in this in is whatever you are giving a comma b comma c that is called a set we have learned set theory in our uh, uh, school life right a set meaning a set of values separated by comma c a comma b comma c something like that so whenever you are using a range whenever you are using the range use between whenever you are using equality multiple equality conditions use in these two are additional values or classes in the select statement now is this clear to you in and between right in webinar we have to ask this question multiple times because i don't see your face uh and i don't see your body language the only way that i can find that whether you have understood or not is by asking a question and all you need to do is simply click on that hand symbol so that it raises over here that's the only way that we can find out whether you have got it or not okay now i'm going to have one more table okay create table trains in that i'm going to say train number integer primary key train name character of uh, say 40 two columns describe trains i want to insert a set of values what are all the train numbers people might have heard something like uh, master tables master tables are nothing but something that doesn't change very frequently they are all look up for example train number 123 is a uh, some uh, rameshwaram express we have got some lookup codes 
these are called masters in any application you will see masters there is something called transactions transactions are the ones which are inserted and updated on a daily basis for example my account number doesn't change once I have inserted whereas I will do multiple deposits multiple withdrawals each deposit each withdrawal is a transaction a transaction happens on a daily basis it gets updated again and again and again more and more whereas masters are uploaded once they change very little any applications database applications you see there will be masters and transactions in railway reservation train master station master price master these things are quite common same way reservations cancellations which are transactions now I am making a train master now I am going to do some insert into the trains table okay insert into trains there are uh, two columns that they need to give train number uh, let us say what are the train numbers that I have given over there let me just watch 245 246 346 okay 245 Howrah Express okay now I say 246 Rameshwaram Express then I say 346 Chennai or Mumbai passenger want to say 347 let us say Mumbai Express okay select star from uh, trains in fact one other user has uh, sent us an email saying that uh, Can we have all these things already prepared so that we can minimize the time in the webinars? One of the important aspects in the learning, right? More than just seeing, you have to see that in action. Every time when I do the insert statement and then do a select statement as I type, it gives you enough time for you to grasp. Rather than showing a preloaded example, it's always better to have an example handwritten and even the 10 seconds 15 seconds that gives enough time for you to learn better so that's why we are making it as though I'm sitting next to you and then teaching that is the speciality of open mentor now we have got certain trains now I want to know somewhere I know uh, anything that starts with Mumbai get me okay that's a Mumbai passenger or Mumbai Express anything that starts with Mumbai right in DAS prompt and all we will say okay one more thing you might have noticed on my machine it is time to stand up it is good for your back this message comes this is one of my kind advice to all the IT and BPO people we all sit for a long time in the same place maybe in the same position or in an awkward position and that's very bad for the neck and the back you need to have definitely every half an hour or one hour stand stretch your body then sit else on a long run after four or five years you may get into chronic back problems or neck problems this is one of the standard problems that physiotherapists face from IT and BPO people I purposely put an alert message in my laptop so that uh, it always uh, helpful because health is very important right you would have seen that every one hour that pop-up coming in my laptop okay coming back to my sequel in DOS you'll say Mumbai dot star something like that it will display all the Mumbai related things how do I do in yes my sequel to do that select star from trains where train name you cannot give an equal sign you have to give like there is an operator called like what do you want Mumbai star right Mum star right it doesn't show anything I know Mum star satisfies for Mumbai Express and Mumbai Express but the syntax in 
my is equal instead of star you have to give percentage sign instead of star you have to give percentage sign the moment you give the percentage sign it 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 is satisfying for rest of the characters right it is equal to star right now i say train name like mum percentage so it shows mumbai passenger mumbai express now i want to know wherever there is a express coming right if you want to do like that within the string wherever express comes i have to give express percentage express if you give this is equal to star exp star that means wherever the word express comes over here it will display now i want to give wherever r comes display within this whole thing wherever r comes right r comes in howra r comes in rameshwaram or something like operator this like is used for searching with wild cards instead of giving a star you have to give percentage but before giving percentage you cannot give train name equal to you have to say train name like any character field or a varchar field you can use this percentage sign many times you will be using this okay now uh one of the users have asked uh, is it possible to insert more than one record in a single command okay that is definitely possible as long as you give semicolon semicolon and you hit the enter key it is going to execute right that can be done right and uh, one person has asked uh, in the in operator can we have more than two values you can have you can say the field in a comma b comma c comma d comma e you can give any number of values i think one person has asked tell me the difference between star and percentage no star is not allowed in like operator i have shown you the example here to say that it is not allowed right star is allowed only for the column names in select star not in the like operator in the like operator if you give star it will look for m u m asterisk in the data whereas if you want to have as a wild card wild card meaning it matches many characters then you have to use percentage is this clear good again what all the different wild cards available percentage is the one that is heavily used okay now i am not sure about the question mark i can try that there is a question mark supported in most of the sql also let me say uh, h question mark uh, w percentage let us do that now again the question mark is not allowed here let me try to have a dot no i think the percentage is the only uh, wild card allowed here you can anyway refer to the help manual one more thing you might have seen all the uh, sql statements right there is something called ansi sql this ansi means it's a standard this ansi gives specifications this is how a database structured query language should be there oracle also follows that my msql also follows that uh, db2 also follows that but 95% oracle syntax msql syntax mysql syntax will be same but 5 to 10% there will be definitely some difference so if you know one database learning another database is very very simple you don't have to worry about lot more syntax a few times you may make mistakes after that it will be very easy for you so these are all pretty standard across the industry so knowing one database will definitely help you to learn another uh, database okay